Okay, get off that thing. Get off what? That berg. Down, go downstream? Yeah, yeah. So you, either pull the iceberg or your boat. That's what I was going to try. I think it's pretty well wedged. Nice little stretch of water. And they, uh, nice strainer. And then we got a little, little run right here. It's a uh, clipping stream. You keep on going. Okay. I gotta pee and I'll catch up. That's what I did. How is Clearly. it? Clearly you were here for a while. <laughs> you switched over in far. I was giving you plenty of time. Yeah, I had plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> Little class two. Not sure what the goal is, but <laughs> that's what the, what they're good for is icebreakers. <laughs> is is the berg free? Yeah, no, I, here. Let's shove it down the falls. What's that? Let's shove the berg down the falls. That's what I, that's what I'm heading, no, no, I, that would be another obstacle that we don't need. Right. Oh yeah, you're free on it right now, an island. muddy bottom but the berg is free and we got a nice little dog leg and some class one one and a half and a nice little pond down to catch at the bottom oh it's already broken up I only got one hand I'm not going down through with my phone and one hand <laughs> it's still riding it. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do that. I think we've hit the lake. At least that's what Jacob says. Not much current and the, the ice flow is here. I'm gonna go over on that side. So the river was nice and open. The lower end of the lake was uh, completely open, little ice around the edges. The upper end of this section of the lake is uh, it's probably a mile as far as we can see. And it's ice. So it's already come four miles downstream so after some discussion assessment we have decided to see how look how easy that goes it sounds horrible I don't know what it's going to be like with a boat, we got uh, maybe a mile. And we're gonna stay just off the shore, next to the boat, and make a go of it. It is a, a good uh, eight inches of ice. And if it's 
not along the edges. It's fairly stable, at least that's what it appears. All right, so we've got setting poles. You can climb out on your pole. We have extra change of clothes. And that boat sounds a lot better, but it probably doesn't drag much easier. Well, we came down the lake, hit some water or bad ice. We have to huff it from the trees over there, over here, uh, to uh, some water. And we think we can get through this opening right down here. We'll see. Cranberries? Yeah. They poppy. Hey, can you get Jardia from eating cranberries that are sitting in, in beaver water? Probably. Probably. It doesn't matter, does it? I don't know. I'm going to have some here if I can find some. What's As, that? I'm going to have some if it, as we walk across to you. There's got to be some. No, there's a bit of open water, uh, just right in the middle of the bog right there. I know, I, this is going to be weird. I don't so know. it's either going to be really horrible, but that's the open water right over there. We can get over there. <laughs> we do need to get over there. I must say that haze over there is really quite beautiful. This, it all is, isn't it's it? Really Look red. at this. The geese don't like us. So to push across, not sticking down, but across, is it going to like go the whole bridge? I think that you've hit your limit right here. What's that? You just hit the limit. cranberries under the water and they're not as squishy as the ones that are above the water squeeze one and make it pop for the camera yeah mm, these ones aren't that poppy well, you said beavers and I wasn't that worried about beaver poop but what about goose poop oh it's got to be good for you We'll see. 24 hours? Yeah. Now, here's the open water that we were looking for all along. Yeah, I don't remember what time it was when we got to the camp there. Uh, I don't know. Yep. The lake crosses portion of this adventure. Yeah, and, and guess what? The wind is in our favor. Yeah, I'd like it now. We got a couple miles to go.